Hi, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. I'm going to talk about a Norstar feature called the um, Set Relocation. And what Set Relocation does is it allows you to take two phones, or even just one phone, and move them or swap them. And uh, when you move them from, from the, the wall outlets when they're plugged into uh, to a new location, uh, they will actually retain all the programming, the station number and all the button programming. So that's handy uh, when a office manager or some kind of office admin needs to move phones around but doesn't want to have to bring out the phone professional to move the wires. So, you know, I've got a lab set up here where the phones are right next to the, the wiring. But, you know, in the back room of, of any office where you have a phone system, you've got your, you know, your phone system and your wiring. Well, normally without set relocation, you would have to physically move the wires you would have to there's like little we call them jumper wires you would have to move them and then move the phones at the respective location so um most of the time when the systems were installed uh set relocation is usually turned off so to find out if it's on or off or to at least see where the programming um, uh setting is we're going to walk into the programming and i'm going to show you that let me get the camera just a little bit closer here so you can see the screen okay Enter the programming as usual. Features star star 266344, 266344. All right, in the newer software, which would be the BCMs, the 0x32s, uh, Compact ICS, uh, you want to uh, hit the next key until you get down to um, uh, system programming. Okay, so it's about five down here. System programming, I want to show system programming. Um, I want to hit the next key um, to feature settings, hit show. And then it's a long way down. It's about, uh, I think it's about 20, maybe 22 uh, uh, forward, you know, next to keys down and before you see it. And it's called set relocation. There it is, set relocation. So it's turned off, okay? So I'm going to turn it on by hitting the change key. Okay, now it's on. I'll hit next. Okay, and I'm going to leave the program. So now set relocation is on. Okay, so let's see how this works. This is it's kind of a cool feature. I've never been a big fan of it because, you know, when I'm doing work for my clients, I usually just move the wires in the back, like I told you before. All right, so let's look at two sets here. I've got feature star zero. I've got set number 4839 over here. And then over here, I don't know if you can see these, but this is set 4820. Okay, so I've got 4839 and 4820. Now, what I'm going to do is simulate moving these two different wall outlets. Um, so what I would do is I would unplug this phone, I would unplug this phone, and then I would move them to their separate offices and plug them back in. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to simply move these uh, jumpers up here at the top. This is kind of me simulating moving the phones. And it really doesn't matter where they go. I mean, you don't even have to necessarily put the phones back in the, in, you, you know, if you swap them, they don't necessarily have to go back in the exact same spots where, they, where the opposite one came from. Once that set relocation is turned on, what essentially is happening is, is that, you know, each one of these phones has got like a fingerprint, so to speak. When the, when the phone system sees that fingerprint and set relocation is turned on, it will remember, that, okay, that's set 4839, that's set 4920, and it will restore all the programming in the station number back to that set even though it's physically connected to a different spot on the phone system okay so that one's starting to come up and my other one didn't I think I might have plugged it into the wrong spot let me see here might have plugged it into a spot where there's no station there it goes okay this one came up over here so let's take a look at him Feature star 0, 4839. Okay, I know this may not seem like a big deal, but from a technical point of view, the fact that I was able to move the wire on the punch down block or the distribution block and still have the phone retain all its original programming is kind of a kind of a technical uh, uh, advantage or kind of an accomplishment. Okay, here's my other one. Feature star 0, 4820. Okay, so. If you do need to move a phone set and you want to keep all the, the programming and station personality, um, turn the set relocation on and then go and move the set. And then once that set has fully come back up and um, 
you know, you verified that it's it's what you expected, that, the, that all the station programming stayed, then go back in and turn it back off. So again, that was down to feature programming, oh, system programming, and then about three, oh, just about three down to feature settings, and then about 22 down to um, set relocation. There it was. And then you can go ahead and turn it back off. Okay? Now, when you turn it off, it's not going to revert the phone. In other words, it's not going to lose its programming. So what I would recommend is if you do want to use set relocation, turn it on, then go move the sets, and then turn it back off. Okay? And if, um, and if you do have it on, I guess it's okay to leave it on. But let your anybody who works on your phone system please tell them that it's on because that will really confuse a poor telephone guy if he doesn't know that that set relocation is turned on. Okay, hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.